to another episode of ASMR Brain Wisdom with Gabby. Today I will be reading another excerpt from The Power Brain Book. Today's excerpt is going to be about how to deal with your emotions. Okay, let's begin. Think of your emotions as a powerful horse. When they're wild and unharnessed, lacking any constraints, your emotions are formidable, sometimes frightening, unpredictable, and even dangerous. But when you gently tame them and harness their enormous energy, you're able to maintain a balance of freedom and control that you carry a long way towards your life's goal. It's important never to deny or disown your emotions, but rather to master them in ways that let you serve precisely as you choose while still moving freely through you as a rich and meaningful part of life. If you're prone to emotional outbursts, you clearly have work to do in this regard. And if you believe that you're already in full control of your emotions because you virtually never have outbursts, you may simply be very good at suppressing them holding your emotions in masterful control means being fully aware of them, staying present with them, and maintaining the self-discipline to redirect their energy in a constructive way. It's a challenge that requires dedication and practice, but the rewards are profound. Begin by resolving to process and release your emotions as soon as you're aware of them and the effect they're having on you. When your emotions get the better of you. Quickly acknowledge this. Gently forgive yourself and work to release them as soon as you can. Let go of the need to let emotions flood out of you. Instead, practice simply experiencing and naming an emotion when you feel it. Then ask yourself, how can I use this emotion well? You can turn anger into motivation to accomplish something positive. Jealousy can be directed to a greater attentiveness to yourself or someone else, and sadness toward deeper awareness and compassion at first. 
first, it may be difficult to redirect your emotions in a constructive way. You may find yourself returning again and again to a harmful and stressful emotion. Even though you've worked hard to control it, understand that it's only a habit of your brain that keeps bringing you back to your old way of reacting. Catch yourself when you go off track and keep practicing your new skills until they are second nature. It will happen. Be patient. Forgive yourself often and keep working to find the positive action that can replace the negative emotion. It's often helpful to create a symbol that represents your pledge to work skillfully with your emotions. Wear a ring that reminds you place in a prominent location a photograph that reflects the emotional mastery you seek to achieve. Hold a stone you've collected as a reminder of your goal. Remind yourself to redirect your efforts in a positive direction and celebrate the progress you make with a joyful heart. It's a practice that takes years to fully master, but when you work in partnership with your brain, you also can experience immediate breakthroughs. So that was all for today's reading. And I hope it made you relax and think about the way you deal with your emotions. Thank you for joining me today, and I'll see you next time on A.S.